Good morning, all, and <clears throat> oh, you have a good day. This morning, I'm going to um, just not gonna read the story or anything. Just going to share my thoughts and feelings about the all these rights that's happening across the nation. Uh, but before I get to that, it will really help me out if you could um, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button. And maybe share it with your friends. Okay, on to what I what I'm thinking about it. I think it's really stupid that you guys are riding. You're just hurting your own cause. Then now suddenly you need the National Guard. Which is going to be clean it down. You thought the lockdown over the corner was bad. Wait until they start to claim martial laws in those big cities. And you can't do nothing. You're going to need a path to go anywhere. Yeah, I could see that happening. Oh, why are you burning down mom and pop stores and shit like that? What do they have to do with any of this? You know what's gonna happen? Remember when those Korean men sort of started going to the rooftops and sniping at people who came near their bills? I see that happening again. They're gonna pow! Another one go. And then what about the suburbs? You have family members that you get going to go down there and riot. Those families are going to fight back since they don't see the cops coming down to protect them. So you're going to have more violence. All this is going to do is get more and more people killed. And they say, oh, well, there's protest. No protesting is what King did. And Malcolm X. And all those guys back in the 60s and 70s. You do it peacefully. You get the press on your side. Well, the press is on your side now. You get middle America on your side. The more you buy it, the more you burn, the more shit like that happen. You're going to get more and more war folks against you. And you're going to get to look like spoiled babies. Saying, look what happened in Black Lives Matter. At first, they started out people were supporting them and stuff. Then they did stupid shit like block highways and wouldn't allow aliens to take a sick, sick kids to hospitals. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get a PR uh, burn. Go to protest. Like the little black guys up in Michigan. They're out there on Twitter to protesting peacefully, not doing anything. That's how you um, get your word across. Show up in force, but don't smash nothing. Don't fight. Keep it. Keep a level head. It might be hard, but think at least four or five moves in advance. Think, how could this come back and bite me in the ass? And then you have mayors order the cops not to shut it down, and all that's going to do is going to start up. Vigilante is going to defend their own house, and people are going to get hurt and killed. And as for businesses, if you're going to balance stuff, there's still parts of L.A. 30 years, going on 30 years, that have not uh, recovered from the Rodney King riots. Because all the businesses left. So, yeah, how many of those businesses are going to leave Minneapolis or other cities that got burnt down and go to a more uh, peaceful neighborhood outside of the town, outside the cities? Therefore, there's going to be more um, middle class, upper middle class flight from this city. Aren't Poverty is going to skyrocket again in the cities. You're going to be more poor. You're going to be more drugs, more police crackdown. All you're doing is making the cycle worse. And another thing, down in Atlanta, Georgia, I guess, led where the um, college football Hall of Fame was looted. Why? They know what stuff was in there. You can't sell it. You can't do nothing with it. It's basically worthless now. You broke into that place, destroyed our history, because for something that didn't even happen in your city. It's blooming idiots. I know I'm 
I might get some push back but you, the writers need to start thinking that all it is going to do is going to hurt their cause and then a lot of people a lot of the uh, I can see more hardline um, politicians getting elected into office because middle class and those that's not NSAW are going to get fed up with their houses and shit getting burnt, so they're going to elect them into it. Then you're going to make more hardline police actions. The stuff you don't want. Yeah, I'm not sorry what we're going to happen to you guys down the future because you're going to bring it up on yourselves. You're going to screw this whole nation because you can't think five, six moves down the line. You can't think five, six. 10, 20 years down the line, how you actually is going to screw everybody. You get a bunch of spoiler but never been told no. Your mom and dad always told you were special and said you could and give you everything you wanted. So, yeah, you, everything you guys get coming that's going to happen to you, you guys deserve it. And also, the news people. If you're in front of a, a police line, they tell you to move. You don't stand there and harass them. You move over. And once you're out of the way, you try to get some information about where you can go. And if you get arrested, it's not violent. They're not suppressing um, But they're getting rid of troublemakers. Uh, I know some people are going to have a bunch of... Uh, uh, saying comments about this. If you could, please keep it civil down in the comment section if you do comment. And please like or dislike I like to see how bad it gets. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And it's all everyone. Be good, have fun, and stay safe. Especially in the cities where there's lights. Bye bye.